Hey! <laughs> Hi everyone, how you going? Well, better than you, so, you know, <laughs> hey, I can't complain. <laughs> what, what are you saying, Jess? <laughs> hang, hang on a second. See this hey. little yellow button here? No, no. I can press that little button and it can adjust it so we don't have to hear Simon talk. <laughs> so put it in the comments if he's dribbling on too much and I'll just press that little button. <laughs> we can all have a break. <laughs> Oh, dear. I got feelings, you know, Jess. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't understand that. Hey, everyone. Well, welcome to episode 12. Um, I certainly hope you are travelling really well. Um, there's quite a few of us that aren't travelling that well. No. Um, so um, so a, a little bit of an update on me. Um, as, <laughs> as you know, I had a, um, a minor, a minor get-off. Um, probably one of those really <laughs> embarrassing things. Well, where, luckily no one was around. Where I almost fell over on um, on bitumen paving, um, <laughs> and um, first thing that hit hit the um, uh, obstacles was my head, and um, I've ended up with a, a few fractures in my neck and a couple down in my upper back there as well. So, <laughs> so it um, it. Um, it's been fantastic though. I've had such such warming support. Oh really? Oh, it's been. I've just been overwhelmed with the support. Well, I've heard someone's bought you um training sessions from Neil. I might get your trainer wheels. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Le <laughs> Leo, ble God bless Leo. He went and bought me a voucher for trolls bike training sessions. So, <laughs> so, so that's one. Um, Mike Thorpe said to me, he heard that I was riding black plate. <laughs> Hey, you don't want to be riding black paint, bloody little jacks. Oh you. yeah, yeah. And um, but in actual fact, the it's all Mark Atherton's fault. Oh really? That, that I've had the accident. He's fessed up. Apparently, the same weekend, almost exactly the same time, they were doing a show, and a guy said to him, "Oh, this is pretty dangerous." And he said, "No, actually, he says trials is really safe." He <laughs> said, no, "No one ever gets seriously hurt." <laughs> And next, but, oh, except uh, for old buggers. Yeah, so he's put the cob wash on me. So oh, yeah, that's funny. No, it's all all part of the fun. Um, a, a big shout out to the the geriatrics that are on the injury list. Um, I had a chat with Mike Thorpe the other day. So um, Mike Thorpe's on the mend and he's he's in good spirits. Um, Dick Yates is healing well. Oh, great! Yeah, and I, I rang Dick the other day, and he was panting away. And I, what are you doing, Dick? And he's, <laughs> and he's on his push bike, right, riding. And the, oh. his doctor said to him, he wasn't allowed to ride his push bike. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. <laughs> and um, <laughs> and we got Nifty Nev. Unfortunately, he's put his foot in it. Apparently, yes, yes, um, yes. He's all uh, wrapped up. So I'm not exactly sure what injury he's done. And then Phil Drew was know. still hobbling around the other day with his knees. Yeah. Yeah, so, Phil Drew. I told I told Phil Drew off on the Easter trial because he's got a little bit of a dicky knee, um, and he really shouldn't have been on it. Yet he came, went and observed for us at the Easter trial, um, and was doing more walking than he should have been doing. So, um, well, I think because we've got so many of you on the injured list. I lovingly went to Costco the other day. Oh, God, thank God I only walked out with one thing. But they had a three-seater lounge. But, so, you know what? I think MD needs to get this three-seater lounge and we can have it for all the injured. <laughs> and you can all just sit there, well, having your teas and coffee, Well, I think exchanging you, war wounds. I think you better get one <laughs> bigger than a three-seater. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got a, got, a, got a few more than just three. So... Um, a uh, um another a big shout out you mentioned um black plate and jacks yes right yes so, what a little uh, superstar he's turning oh, into be Jack, jacks peacock mate what a legend he um he he's um only ridden what four event four months no oh, he's four been on the bike he's been on, on the bike, the bike. Only yeah. had his TRS for two weeks yeah. and rode his first event, which was Black Plate. In, in Black Plate. On the weekend yeah. at Mental Falls, which at, I oh hear was mental. Yeah. yeah. Um, and ended up taking the win and beating Dad. <laughs> <laughs> and I hear that he's now got his eye set on beating Mum this weekend if oh. Mum has recovered from her head cold. <laughs> he's uh. out to annihilate the whole family. <laughs> 
Uh, good on you, Jax. No worries, mate. Looking forward to seeing you riding white line soon. So um, that's awesome. And uh, talking of mental falls, big shout out to Wendy and Mark Austin for having us up there at the um, Early Bird 2 series. I know. It was um, so nice to have a, a winter's trial in a summer series. <laughs> in a summer series. It was series. just beautiful. Oh, it would have been gorgeous up there. I bet oh, you. it was. Yeah. A bit windy, a bit chilly with the wind oh, blowing, yeah. but once yeah. that subsided, it was actually very pleasant while watching everyone else ride by a set up a birthday party. Oh, oh yeah, Charlotte's birthday. Oh, yes, I forgot to mention, I didn't tell you this, what? but Moto D is actually going into um, party planning as well. So if you've got a birthday <laughs> oh, yes. at a trial, let us know and yeah. we can set it up. Mark Atherton, uh, we still have you eyeballed for your birthday this year, so <laughs> watch out, it's coming. Oh, well, we'll have to talk to Andy Chalkley and, and get him to bring the party bus along. <laughs> well, we could do that as well <laughs> oh, awesome so yeah that's great and um i believe there was quite a number of new riders that early yeah there too. was and they um, survived that's awesome don't Good know whether or not they'll be coming back <laughs> yeah so but... one, one of them i don't know all their names but i definitely know colin had his first ride colin howard had his first ride um on the weekend so um colin i hope you survived all right mate and um and we go from there but mental falls is what it's named it's mental, mental. <laughs> so that's awesome great stuff any other shout outs Jess? no not at the moment but we've had richard and uh no sorry not richard and sue sue's joined us richard's um out at the moment but gary connell said it's great to see you on the men yeah. mark Atherton Thanks, has, apo uh, has apologized um <laughs> For, uh, you know, being your little hex there. Putting and, the hex on um, me. Manus has just joined us. Mm. Awesome. I hope you have got your cuppers ready and um, going from there. Yes. So what are we going to cover today, Jess? So today we are covering troubleshooting with your fuel to your carby. Fuel. So carrying on from Neil's little carby talk last week. Yep, awesome. So we've got that, and then we'll mention a few of the bikes that are coming in. We've got mm. a couple of second-hand bikes up for grabs. Yeah, there's a couple of beauties coming. Um, yeah. and have a chat about the upcoming trials and, and what's and, and events and, and things like news that. and yep. stuff like that. Yep, no worries. So I um, th and and first of all, I should say um a, a big thank you to Neil for for stepping in um for me while, <laughs> while I was laying in hospital there last week. So. Thanks, Neil. Awesome job. So I figured we'd just flow on from Neil's carby thing because we've done a couple of sessions on carbies. Yes, I'm, I'm starting to learn about the so, carby now. Yep, you'll, you'll be an expert before long, <laughs> Jess. Um, so, you know, we've done just your, your basic service of cleaning your carby out. Um, Neil did a, um, a specifics on the, te the technical parts of how carbies work and venturi effects and all that sort of stuff um so i thought the next thing we do is we talk to you a little bit about if you're having fuel supply problems to your bike and i've had a customer recently had had some problems like that yeah um and it's a good idea it, when, when you have that sort of a problem if you haven't got a you, you think you don't get the fuel supply into your into your carby it's a good idea to go through a process of elimination rather than go, oh, I think it might be this or I might think it's that. If you yeah. if you just go through and eliminate a few things and and then hopefully you'll you'll pinpoint them. So so I thought I'd just go through a few things here. Now fortunately I've got a swivel chair so I can uh, swivel. <laughs> yes, we don't want any fast neck movements here, do we? No, I'm not allowed to <laughs> do too many neck movements. So so I mean realistically the you know and Neil talked about this a little bit in his session is is about the, the physical reality if you you got a, a fuel tank full of fuel um, for the fuel to come out of that tank you you've got to allow air into the tank so the first thing you you really want to check if you're having fuel supply problems down into your carby first thing you want to do is, is just check your, your air breather into the top of your fuel tank right now, a quick, simple way of trying to resolve that is just undo your fuel cap, take your fuel cap off, and see if you're getting the fuel flow through. Now, if you if you are getting your fuel flow through with your fuel cap off, and then when you put your fuel cap back on, you haven't, then it might tend to point to your breather up here. 
Now different bikes will have a slightly different setup, but they all will have a, a breather of some description to allow air in and, and not water in and not fuel out. <laughs> <laughs> Always wanted to know what that little pluggy thing was. Yeah, well, so, there you go. Um, it's your breather. Yeah. If you have a look at the TRSs, um, sorry, well, not, I sorry. would, but no, mine no. hasn't arrived yet. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have started yet. <laughs> um, I, I tell a lie, the Jotter gases, if you have a look at the Jotter gases, they've just got a, 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 a block fuel cap. And mm. their, their breather into their fuel tank is in a different spot. Ah, so it's not actually on, sneaky, the, on the fuel cap, you know. So that that's your first port of call, is to check that. Um, in in your fuel tank, where your fuel tap is, and certainly, I can't can't remember the last time I had a gas of fuel tap off, but certainly on the beaters and, and I know on the old yammies and stuff like that, you will have a fuel filter inside your fuel tank on your fuel tap. So if, if it's an old bike, um, and particularly if it's something like Robin Ferguson would have. He <laughs> certainly old, has a collection of old bikes. His old Yamahas and stuff. It might pay you to drop the fuel tap off, have a look at that filter, give it a bit of a clean out, and, and go from there. And, um, and of course, it, it's a good idea if, you, if um, you, you're not getting the fuel out of here, out of your fuel tap, then you might want to pop your fuel tap apart and see whether there's maybe something jammed in your fuel tap or something like that. Now, just going to ask, would it be actually better if you just sit here for this side because you look a little bit awkward with your twisting uh, and manoeuvring? Not really. I think I'd have to twist okay. either way. Either way. So Because I just thought it might be easy because you can just sort of sit here no, we'll see and the, leaning. The be beauty of this is I can get my cuppa here. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> priorities and then oh and then i'm it. on your deaf side anyway so it doesn't really matter actually maybe it'd be better if i get on that side because then oh no the deaf side's the other side isn't it <laughs> ah. um oh mark Athen has just put up here that um gases have a gauze as well they do yeah i gathered that they would i mean i'd be very surprised if any any brand um wouldn't have that um and that so your next your next port of call if you if you've got fuel coming out of your fuel tap but it's not going into your carby of course your next port of call is to have a look at your fuel line have a look at how your fuel line is routed some it, you know trolls bikes are quite compact and depending on the situation if it's had a, a fuel filter put on it the line might be kinked yep. you know maybe how you put your carby back in you might not have quite have routed the fuel line properly and if your fuel lines kink, then then that could be a problem as well. So check that. Okay. The now this is a test for you, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> so next step after your fuel tap and on your fuel line, you'd have a fuel filter. Now 99% of people, well not 99% of people, but a lot of people run fuel filters, and it's a it's a great idea to run a good a good quality um, brass gauge um, fuel filter to stop water coming through and any dirt and stuff like that. Now, how would you fit an air filter? Air filter? Uh, fuel filter, sorry. <laughs> I don't know. You would find where that goes, which if I knew where that goes, that would be fine. But I'm assuming it's in that little fuel filtery thing that you talked about earlier. <laughs> no. Remember, no. Remember we talked one of the sessions I had a fuel filter and it had an arrow on it? You don't, no. you don't remember that? Well, there you no. go. <laughs> I have so much stuff I have to remember at the moment. Jeez, give me a break. I'm just trying to get my head around right in it. God. <laughs> so if you've got a fuel filter on your bike or you've just fitted a new fuel filter and then you're having fuel flow problems. Ah, see, I was actually thinking of an oil filter. See, that's ah, right. There you go. <laughs> There's too many filters. <laughs> <laughs> too many filters. I've got to filter through the processing. <laughs> oh, man. I, um... I did it myself one time, and God forbid Leo spotted it or got involved in it somehow. I can't remember now. Um, and I'd put it on the wrong direction. Uh, so if you actually put your fuel filter on the wrong direction, that causes it an can, issue. It can cause a, a fuel restriction. So always follow you'll, the arrows. You'll get fuel through, but you won't get the, the flow. The, as, the, the as quantity that you need. So make sure if you have just fitted a new fuel filter, make sure it's fitted in the right direction. Um, if if it's um, um if it's an old one and you've pulled it off and put it back on, same thing. Just make sure you've put it back on the in the right direction. So so that's your next step. 
So then, if you're still having fuel problems, then you, you, you're heading down to your carby, basically. Yep. Um, and um, now, fuel supply issues. Now, we call it hunting. I don't know if you ever heard us talk about the, the terminology hunting. No. Um, if... If if you hear someone, if you hear a bike, I don't know. I don't know it's probably going to be a bit hard to explain, but it's a it, ding, 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 yeah, or ding, 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 <laughs> like oh that. Oh my it's... lordy, you guys sound <laughs> so like bikes. It's not funny. <laughs> well, that's that's what we would call the bikes hunting, right? Meaning it's hunting for fuel, it's trying to find some fuel. Mm. And if you remember Neil's little session. And how he talked about your carby bowl and everything, and your carby bowl has general, generally has about fuel up to about three quarters in the mm-hmm. bowl, as a general rule of thumb. I'm just generalising, obviously. Um, and if you if you can remember him talking about the idler jet and your main jet, and your idler jet sits higher than your main jet, so your your main jet draws off right at the bottom of your fuel bowl. Yeah. Right. So if you haven't got if you've got if it's your float set wrong um, and you haven't got enough fuel in your bowl or there's this fuel supply issue where the bike's using more fuel than it's getting, then the, f- the bowl's going to get empty. And what happens is the, the idler jet ends up splashing around and it actually sucks in air as well as oh. fuel. So and that gives you the yang yang and ning, 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 you know. So it's not deliverance, you know. It's, it's, mm-hmm. um, so that's what they call hunting. Now, if, if your bike's hunting for fuel... Then and as we said, if we've gone through this process of elimination, and we're down into the carby, you probably your first port of call in your carby is your needle and seat from your float, and and your float drops and allows your fuel in and then shuts your fuel yeah. off as the floats come up. So, so the trick then is to is to drop your um your float your floats out, yeah uh, your needle and seat out, um just just turn your fuel tap on and run a bit of fuel through your the, your carby and just see if you're getting a good supply of fuel yep. coming down in, into the bowl of your carby, you know. And then that, that you, you'll identify there might be some dirt stuck or something in there, yep. you know. And um, and then the, the other thing for your carby, now I know, Neil, because I actually watched the show because I was lying in bed in hospital and there's nothing else I could do. <laughs> so I watched the show and I heard Neil talking about the... Um, the um, geez, the terminology's lost me. The for your um air to get out of your carby bowl. Oh, uh, the balance tubes. Balance tubes. Yes. Yeah, I'm getting old and sent off. Yeah, we so, definitely know that. Neil Neil talked about your balance tubes on the top of your carby, and and like your fuel tank, it's it's the opposite to your fuel tank. For fuel to go into your carby, the air needs to go out of the carby. So so you've got um, some carbies will just have one float tube. Some will have two float tubes. So the, 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 this is something to, to check. If your bike's hunting, um, again, make sure that your balance tubes are, uh, aren't blocked for a start. Um, the, the tubes are routed um, appropriately and not kinked. So if they kink and shut off, when you take the carby out, they might be okay. When you shove your carby back in, make sure... That those um, balance tubes are um, free and and can actually let the air out of the carby as your fuel's going in, you know. So, and basically that once you get to there, um, if you haven't solved your fuel problem, fuel supply problem, then I don't know if there's too much more no. <laughs> that you can check. Um, but one thing I will mention is quite often I get people bring their bike to me and they go, it won't idle. Yeah, and they've wound the idle up and different things like that. Now, that's generally not a fuel supply issue. Um, generally, it's because the idler jet's actually blocked. Yeah. So the because what they'll do, they say, oh, I can start it on the choke because the choke will give the the motor a, a little bit extra fuel. They start it on the choke. They can rev it up and everything goes. And then when they turn the choke off, it 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 just run drops out and won't idle. So. That's generally just because your idler jet is blocked. So um, it's just simply it's not getting yep. getting fuel from your idler jet. But, um, yeah, so that's pretty well it. That's all I wanted to cover. 
on, on the technical stuff today. Sounds good. Um, Sorry, everyone, I was a bit distracted. Audrey's just popped through the um we, into the studio from her bouncing. There's colouring in on the we, edge of my desk. We got a um. We've got a guest visitor. Yes, we do. We do. <laughs> well, I think people might have even heard or seen me. I was like, hmm, there's a weird noise outside. And then I'm like, I think Audrey could be back or there's someone. Yeah, yes. it wasn't so, a mouse. It was Audrey. It was Audrey, <laughs> yes. Yeah, so um, so that's it. You know, a bit of a fuel supply issues. Um, just a few tips to work your way through. And it's always a good idea if you're, tr- if you're problem solving, then only ever change one thing at a time. Yeah. When you're problem solving. That does make right? sense. There's there's nothing worse than doing three changes and then the, and then it works and then you don't know which yeah. one did it. <laughs> and what I'll do is after the show, um, because we don't need Simon rambling on again, I'll get him to type it all out for me and we might create a little bit of a checklist, just the, the points where you should start from. The, the, the logical order so the logical speak. order and yeah. that sort of stuff so um you'll have it handy and we'll have that up on the website as well that you can just sort of has it has it yep. have it as a go-to reference yeah no that's um, cool which that'd I think be, will great. be great for yeah. for the audience yeah no worries and um i just remembered another tip that all the um nice people you know trying to help me with my injury and everything like that uh, yeah someone i can't remember who it was now but someone said to me i should trade in my big bore 125 and maybe go to and they suggested i go to a 50 cc oh well that could that could work you know we could just get you on a little maybe we could give you the osset no they're too we, powerful we, we, we could get you one of those no they go too quick do too quick for you but you can actually turn down the response time and i can show you oh how that's that true works. that's true yeah <laughs> no worries so um what sort of news have we got well we've got a pretty busy year here at md um oh no it's it's huge <laughs> it really is and and the season's just kicking off and oh, oh the list of getting everything ready and yeah. organized and it's so, crazy but it's, it's so it, it is going to be an interesting year and um and and part of our um, broadening our horizons with motor dynamics is um we're supporting uh, my middle lad um paul paul price some of you would know paul rat bag and um and paul's riding the fink this year yeah which so, is good he's supposed to ride it last year but unfortunately covid, COVID. uh cancelled that one yep. so it's now what fink 20 2021 20, we um, should really get his uh the what is it stubby holders he had yeah. the thing and just cross out the zero and put a one <laughs> <laughs> yeah so it's fink 2021 um and you're heading over there with him yeah so um me and mum um we're going across the support crew for paul so just let everyone know for about a month we'll have peace and quiet (laughs) um at the trial scene where it'll just be neil and i yeah taking over oh i I shuddered the thing but um yeah my apologies i'm i'm going to mr blackwood unfortunately yes um because we'll be on the road heading to to the fink and um well hopefully this year we get a wet one yeah, actually, well, they, apparently they reckon it's going to be a quick, quick think. Oh, really? Yeah, because with the rains they've had, a lot of the whoops have all been leveled ah. out. So they say they, um, there might be some records there. Yeah, yeah. interesting. Yeah. And um, uh, now I think it's the early, very early May, the weekend May of the weekend of the TDN trial yes. school and thing. Yeah, the Pinj- N- that's at Pinjara. Yeah, Pinjara. Yeah. We're so- not going to have Neil. So Neil's going to be down at Walpole, um, having a crack at an enduro yeah, down there. Yeah, the hard there. enduro down there. So, so it might even just be you. We haven't actually decided whether or not me and the girls will go down yeah, for that not. one. So yep. um, it'll either be Simon and myself or just Simon flying solo on that one. <laughs> but either way, we will be um, at the uh, Pinjara event. No worries, yeah. And um, the um, the other thing is, is we've... We've fo- I finally got. I've been trying to get standard forty-eight chain, uh, forty four twenty-eight chain. So um, I've just got a batch of chains in. Woo-hoo! So so that's good. So uh, that's no worries. Uh, what else is news? Well, we're still hunting down um, wet weather gear. Oh, rain jackets. Rain yep. jackets. We're... So we're just sourcing our options there. Yep. So hopefully we'll get some in shortly, so everyone yep. can stay yep. nice and dry. Because I think Plan- planning for the Blackwood. Oh, so, yes. So, yeah. And just have this inkling it's going to be a wet year. Yeah, it feels like it, doesn't yeah, it? it yeah, it definitely like it. feels yeah. like it's going to be a wet, wet year. Yeah, no worries, yeah. 
what else is news? We got oh some very lucky gentleman is his vertigo is um should actually be here in WA. Ooh. Um if it's not still travelling on a truck in WA, but I'll bet you anything it's in WA. Nice. And I expect to be getting a text shortly to come and pick it up. Oh so, lovely. So um there'll be one very happy gentleman to see the the first twenty twenty one vertigo here in WA. Yep. So that's awesome. Now there's a there's a number of good second hand bikes available too. Oh really? Yeah. Now the these aren't actually ours but they they are here and um and they're customer bikes. I've got a, a two thousand and eighteen um beta three hundred, absolute mint condition. It's an awesome bike, barely been ridden. It look basically look, looks brand new, honestly. Um another gentleman um, bought a brand new bike off me back in two thousand and ten. Wow. Um, Tim, and he intended to come and ride trials, and he rode it a couple of times. I think he actually came and rode one trial on it, um, but then him and his son got into flying. And flying? Flying, yeah. So <laughs> that's a that's going from two wheels to wings. That's yeah. a contrast. So he's he's never never even really ridden it. It's basically done about 25 hours, he reckons, in, in all seriousness. So it's a mint condition 2010. Now, unfortunately, it's still a 2010, but that that is a very nice bike if anyone's looking for a, a lower end budget bike. Um, and and of course we've got Chris Simon's absolute mint um, vertigo. Oh, so, oh yes, that's now, right. That's that's, that's, a, that's a schmicko. Oh, one. that's a schmicko. It's a 250 top of the range um, titanium 2018 vertigo. So that is a beauty that one. So, um, and also I've got a, anyone's interested in a bike carrier um, for the back of your car, you know, it slides into your tow ball, into the re type square fitting. Um, it's a steel one, and um, so I've got one there as well. So if anyone's looking for one of those, so, yeah, just give us a shout out. So, um, next event, what do we got? We got... So this weekend, uh, it's actually going to be a bit of a busy one. So, um, we've got... I'm, I'm going to be there. Oh, so you maybe, it, to... maybe it might not be, not be. You don't have idea. to be yeah. depressed, Jess. Don't, don't worry, people. Remember, yellow button adjusts the height <laughs> so he doesn't have to speak. <laughs> Handy hint. Um, no, but at the, the weekend, so on Neil and I, we're heading down Friday afternoon to set up. So we'll have the trailer there as of yeah, Friday afternoon. Friday afternoon, yeah. Saturday, yep. Neil's a busy boy with training. So we've got trials, training, normal time, 9 till 11. Yep. And then he's put on it, put, oh God, I can't speak today, put on a kid's session from 3 till 4. So any yep. kids that want to have a have a squirt around, yep. um, we'll and, be there for that. Right, awesome. So we've yep. got that happening. And then it is the... Summer series, summer series three. Oh, I get so confused yeah, between summer gotcha. series and early birds and and whatever Su else. Summer series three at Davy Thomas's. Yep. So, so um, make and, sure that you are. And, and I've I've got a point when I'm there with Davy. If you're there on Sunday, Davy, you're gonna I'll point you out the tree, and I. Oh, oh we should have the, safety the... barriers put up around it. <laughs> yeah, and I expect like what's the name Kernsey. When Kernsey broke his collarbone on there, he got a, a sign on the yep. tree. Collarbone, Don't worry. collarbone corner. I get my no, sign I expect a sign. Oh, I get my sign making machine uh, <laughs> next week. So just be wary, Simon. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's going to be stickered. <laughs> oh, um, dear me. But we'll so, also have the tea and coffee. Um, oh, yeah, tea and coffee. Don't forget tea and coffee yep. back on board at the MD trailer. Yep, so um, pop in for, uh, a, for a cuppa, stay you, warm actually, and toasty. You might be quick because I'll be at the trailer all day, so I might be drinking all the tea and coffee. <laughs> yes, that could be true. Um, and, and then... the oh, the, oh, now I had a question. So the next event after the Summer Series 3 is Summer Series 4. Yes. Um, that's because 3 comes after 4. Is oh, that right? Really? Oh, oh, no, what? no, that's right. 4 comes after 3. Um now it's it's the um, it's the TDN Troll School and Summer Series Four weekend. Now I had a, a new member, a fairly new member, rang me up and said, "What's this TDN thing?" Um, so if you don't know what TDN is, it's it's Trolls Designations. Um, and what the Pathfinders do, what's well, really the Trolls community, because it's a an interclub event. Yep. So AJS and Pathfinders, all members are welcome. 
Um, what we do is we run a troll school on the Saturday. Um, it's a two-hour troll school, and um, and we'll have a number of coaches. And I haven't quite hit them all up yet, but um, I've spoken to um, Ben's dad. Yeah. So Ben's going to help out. Um, I'm going to give Piper a ring, and I'm sure Piper will be keen to help. Oh, definitely. Um, and Mitch, Mitch as well. Um, and um, I've got a few people helping out, and we'll have a whole pile of exercises set up. So you just go around in groups, we'll divide you up into groups, and then you'll do all these test um, exercises and stuff like nice. that. So it's always a lot of fun. And then is it your entry into the coaching day goes straight towards help fundraising for the guys yep. to get over TDN this year? Yeah. So so it's a so it's a fundraising event for the TDN Australian team. So the entry for the trial school and the entry for the event, yep. all, all proceeds other than when we have to pay permits and stuff like that goes to the team. Oh, awesome. So, and, and, of course, you're welcome to drop a donation in the tin yep. if you want to donate to support the Australian TDN team. So it's a great weekend. It's uh, Camping's available, I'm sure. And it's a beautiful property oh, to it's camp gorgeous. at. It's so. gorgeous property to camp. So down at Pinjarra. Um, I'm sure you'd be able to camp from Friday night on. I yep. don't think there'd be any issues there. Um, and, um, yeah, we'll see you all there. No, it yeah, sounds mate. like a great one. Um, and then you're off to the Blackwood after that, I think. We are. Uh, no, Do I not? think there's... Isn't there another trial in between no. that? Or is uh, May, is May quiet? Yeah, no, I think the AJ might have... Um, that's the Parthies. I think the AJ might have the Scottish Yeah. in there. Now, that's another great event. Yeah. She's a... Pity I did my neck because that's a good high speed event. I love that one. <laughs> Simon, you did that on low speed. I'd hate I to know. think what you would do on well, high speed. Well, if I speed. was going quicker, I would have missed the tree. <laughs> <laughs> we hope. <laughs> uh, days. But yeah, no, I'm quite sure there's one more in between, and then yeah, yes, we yeah. have I'm, the, the Blackwood. I'm pretty sure it's the Scottish. So, um, so and also make that. sure with the Blackwood, always get in early to book your seat. At the little pub there for dinner oh, yeah. on the night. Yeah, yeah. And uh, definitely. I think we should. We I think actually we should approach them and say, look, can we have a kids session at an adult <laughs> session? Because we've got so many families there yeah. um, this year that it's actually yeah, most probably be, we should actually look at doing that. Yeah. <laughs> for the for the poor people there that get their yearly fix oh. of inundating of uh, a busy night. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So yeah, so. Um, my advice to any new members, if you've never ridden the Blackwood two-day, it's the event of the year. So um, start preparing and planning for the Blackwood. That's an awesome event. No, and it's I'm, great. I'm really oh, I'm devastated to be missing it, but I'm really looking forward to it. Do you know what? It would be my first thing. year of riding a Blackwood. It will be. It will be, yeah. I've never, I've always been there and I've either walked it. Oh, God, I remember walking it when I was 30 weeks pregnant with Audrey. <laughs> Holy dooly. <laughs> but I've I've witnessed it, but I've never ridden a Blackwood. Oh, well, there you well, go. Well, this is a bit exciting. Yeah, yeah. And speaking of the Blackwood, um, a huge shout out to the Patane family, um, to Frank, Debbie and um, Luke and Joel. Yeah, um, they do an awesome they, job setting they it up. Are the, they are just the, the, the Blackwood people. Um, so Frank actually, um, Frank, if you, <laughs> I don't suppose Frank's in the Facebook or anything, no. but um, he did try to ring me yesterday and I missed him. So I will, I'll have to allocate a couple of hours and I'll ring him back, you know, because yep. you know what Frank's like. I never get a word in when Frank's talking. Well, so. well you know what we can do? We can just press that yellow button. <laughs> <laughs> the handy yellow button. Yeah, I'm not going to actually tell you, Jess, but you don't actually press the yellow button. You, you actually you pull it out and you twist, and uh, up it goes. <laughs> really? Let's give it a demonstration. No, no, no. <laughs> we can see how it all works, everyone. Uh, awesome. So, I was going to say on that note, I think we've got everything covered. I think we're done. I was just going to say. And um, look, Simon, record time. It is 12.34. People, he only spoke four minutes over. This ah, is exciting. <laughs> There you go, people. Oh, well, it's only taken you 13 episodes. No, 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 it's only 12 episodes. 12? Yeah, I was thinking it was unlucky 13, but it wasn't. So there we go, it's number 12. <laughs> so awesome. I, I, I hope you've enjoyed the session today. I, I enjoyed coming on the stirring you all up. So looking forward to it. Seeing you at the next trial. Um, so that's pretty well it. That's it. That's it from me. And that's it from me. See you later. Ciao. Ciao. Awesome work, Jess. No, it's fantastic. Cool.